Okay, for you uh, winter time, you winter time concrete installers, I want you to find track down this website right here, and you can look at the aggregate temperatures you added. You added in. You could determine that from your uh, mix design. Your mix design would come from your retailer, your seller of your concrete. Your you would you would have to figure out the temperature of the, the aggregates. Are they outside? They're inside a you know covered bin, but they're still outside a covered shed. They still got the ambient temperatures. They leave, they're leaving out the truck's temperature, the metal of the truck, in this uh, formula. There they're counting the truck is not taking away any temperature at all, because um, they have the temperature of the fines, the temperature of the silo materials in the silo, uh, cementous uh, cementous materials. The uh, temperature of uh, source batch water, I did like 120 degrees. Weight of course, I did 3,000. Weight of the aggregates, I put 1,000, a fine aggregates. Seaman, I put 600 pounds. Weight of batch water, I put 480 gallons. This, this comes out to temperature of freshly mixed concrete. It's going to be 68 degrees. That's at that time, you know, through their, their, uh, their counting the reaction of everything. 68. Now, you take that truck, you put it, that cold truck, it's going to suck some of the uh, temperature out of this before it gets to you. So when you get to your, gets to you, you should take a temperature. And not just a laser temperature. You put a thermometer in it. You got that cold chute, it's going to come down. You got that cold ground, it's going to come down. Uh, bring the temperature down. So um, you you got time that initial set. Initial set's a no longer video for you. But initial set counts. Um, AC, uh, so you want to start, you know, protect your ground, get your ground, you know, up to, uh, ideally up to the 68 with this one, I would think. Here's 68, so you get the concrete at 68. Not possible because temperature is not going to really increase in wintertime. Uh, the low temperatures that I picked here of 40 degrees, it's going to wick this temperature away. Um, it's going to wick it away. So you, you're going to, your temperature, your mix is going to drop in temperature. If you change it now, you got to pay for uh, this batch water. You have to trust your con concrete contractor. Frankly, um, I wouldn't trust them. Uh, how many of you guys got mixes that are all crazy? You know, they do what they want to and tell you, you know, I'll show up in 30 minutes and it'll be an hour later and your concrete's showing up. Uh, 78 degrees is what this one is. So you have to figure out how much of an ambient loss you're going to have um, while the truck's on the road. Uh, and as far as it mixing, it's it's the reaction of the concrete, the hydration process. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. The hydration process takes as long as it takes. I mean, um, we'll get you some heat, but that's calculated in this formula. You can put, keep blankets on it, keep it going for whatever it may be. Keep your calcium chloride out of your concrete if you have steel in there. End of this short video.